Since organizing a brief mutiny against Russian defense officials yesterday, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of a Russian mercenary organization, has released his first recruiting video for the Wagner Group. According to information on Russian social media platforms, with a stunning, brief uprising in June that confronted President Vladimir Putin with the gravest challenge to his 23-year-old, Prigozhin shot to international prominence. The founder of Wagner benefited from Putin's sway, even as he created a private army to defend Russian interests overseas and take part in some of the bloodiest engagements of the conflict in Ukraine. The 62-year-old mercenary leader is heard in the film saying that the Wagner Group is engaged in reconnaissance and search operations and is making Russia even greater on all continents and Africa even more free. We are continuing to do the duties that were assigned to us and that we committed to completing by employing actual strongmen. Just a month before, Prigozhin had praised the military takeover in Niger as excellent news and offered the assistance of his forces to restore order. The speaker in the video can be seen carrying an assault rifle and donning military fatigues. The video was released on Telegram messaging app channels that are thought to be connected to Prigozhin. In the backdrop, there are pickup trucks and more people wearing fatigues. The Associated Press was unable to independently confirm the video's legitimacy or the location and time of its production. According to Russian social media accounts associated with the mercenary boss, Prigozhin was enlisting troops to serve in Africa and urging Russian businessmen to invest in the Central African Republic through Russian House, a cultural hub in the country's capital. One of the nations where Wagner's soldiers for hire have operated and been charged with violating human rights is the Central African Republic. Wagner is giving ISIS, Al-Qaeda and other gangsters hell in temperatures as high as 50 degrees Celsius, according to the figure who looks to be Prigozhin in the video uploaded on Monday. Since 2014, the Wagner Group has been a vehicle utilized by the Kremlin to increase Russia's influence in the Middle East and Africa. The CAR, Libya, Mali, Sudan, Mozambique, and Burkina Faso are just a few of the many African nations where the Wagner Group has had a significant operational footprint. Prior to calling for an armed insurrection on June 23 to remove the defense minister, Prigozhin spent months criticizing Russia's military performance in Ukraine. He then left Ukraine for Moscow with his mercenaries. Prigozhin agreed to put a stop to his uprising in exchange for amnesty for him and his men and freedom to go to Belarus under a deal mediated by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. In an effort to neutralize the threat presented by the mercenaries, Wagner gave its weaponry to the Russian military before heading to Belarus. As the uprising developed, Putin called Prigozhin a traitor and threatened to punish him severely. Nevertheless, the criminal case against the mercenary head on rebellion charges was subsequently withdrawn. Unusually, the Kremlin reported that days after the uprising, Putin met with the leaders of the Prigozhin and Wagner group for three hours. Prigozhin was allegedly captured on camera in Belarus in July but he was later captured in a photo outside a meeting between Russia and Africa in St. Petersburg, Russia. It is unknown where he is right now. Prigozhin praised the military takeover in Niger as excellent news last month and offered his fighters assistance in restoring order. Wagner-related telegram channels received a voice message from Prigozhin, who did not mention his role in the coup, to imply he had intentions to increase Wagner's influence in the area. He portrayed it as a long overdue moment of freedom from Western colonizers and made what appeared to be a plea for his warriors to assist maintain order. The audio message, which was sent to Telegram on Thursday and is believed to have been recorded by Prigozhin, stated that what happened in Niger is nothing other than the struggle of the people of Niger with their colonizers with colonists who are trying to keep them in the same conditions that Africa was in hundreds of years ago and impose their way of life on them. Although it was hard to be positive that it was the Wagner boss, the speaker's peculiar Russian accent and word choice were identical to his. Today, they are acquiring freedom in this manner. 
The letter stated, They have gotten rid of the colonizers. The rest will undoubtedly rely on the residents of Niger and how efficient administration would be.